Hi guys, my name is Robert Feranek. I'm from Fedevel Academy and in this video we are going to speak about component placement and probing. I uh, created a couple of videos on this topic. This one is special. I'm going to describe what are the differences when you use this probing in the older Altium version. This one is uh, Altium 13 and uh, how it works in the new Altium, this one I will use Altium 16 because uh, they change how this uh, feature works and I receive a lot of questions because people try to do it the way which uh, used to work in the old Altium and it doesn't work and they would like to know how to do it in the new Altium. So this is what the video is going to be about. First, uh, we are going to have a look how it works in the old Altium, Altium 13.2. Right click, split vertical, so we can see the schematic and the PCB. Be sure, click on tools, be sure the cross select mode is on. Click on PCB, click on tools, be sure the cross select mode is on. As an example, we will use this uh, Ethernet chip and we will be placing the decoupling capacitors close to the Ethernet chip. So what we are going to do, zoom in, click on this button, the probe button, and uh, select the net where decoupling capacitors are connected. In the PCB you can see all the pins which are connected to this net are uh, highlighted or actually everything is masked only these pins are unmasked and now if uh, you are if you would like to do the placement you can simply just select these capacitors go to PCB click on tools component placement reposition selected components and you can simply place them under the pins yeah you know they need to be close to these pins in the new Altium it works a little bit differently I will show you just finish this perfect so let's have a look how this can be done in the new Altium. This is Altium 16.1, you can see here, and I'm going to show you what is the difference. Click on probe and uh, click on the net. At this moment everything looks exactly the same. Now watch what's going to happen. When you select a component in the schematic, the mask is gone. So you cannot see where uh, you should, for example, place these decoupling capacitors because you cannot see the pins here. One of the ways how you can go around this uh, new feature, go to Navigator. This is the Navigator panel. If you cannot see this Navigator panel, click on Design Compiler and uh, select it here. So go to Navigator panel, right click and check this, Select Objects. Now if you use the probe, the pins will be not only unmasked, they will be also selected. And the advantage is if I select a component now, the pins will still be selected. So maybe it's not as good as the highlight or the mask, but uh, it's still useful because I can see where I, I'm i going to place the decoupling capacitors. So I select them, go to PCB, tools, component placement, and reposition selected components.
Perfect. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos and uh, see you next time.